call the hospital first at area code 250-754-2141 and ask for the nursing unit you intend to visit to get further details. Luna, the friendly orca that once lived alone in Nutka Sound until his death five months ago is being remembered by First Nations people who believe the whale embodied the spirit of their former chief. The Moachat Muchalat First Nation held a memorial for the orca they called Sukit in Friendly Cove over the weekend. Hey, Channel's David Wuchar has the story. When Luna first showed up in Nootka Sound in 2001, the crew of the Uchuk was the first to see him. We thought it was just a, a once-in-a-lifetime thing. We stopped the boat because there's an orca, and uh, we were watching him, but then he came straight to the boat and started doing complete breaches 20 feet off the side of the vessel. Well, of course, we just went ballistic, I and mean, we thought this is the greatest thing ever. And then the next day, we stopped again because we saw him, and he did the exact same thing, and this went on and on and on, and then other boats started stopping. And uh, I mean, it was just a really exciting thing, and, and it grew to be four or five years of, of experiencing him, uh, where it got to the point where, oh yeah, there's Luna, the passengers are going to love this. But at the same time, uh, it wasn't taken for granted. We knew that it eventually it was going to end. Luna would follow the transport ship, playing in its wake as it went about its rounds to area fish farms and logging camps. For the Moachit Muchalit, the whale they called Suhit carried special significance, and two years ago they thwarted a DFO capture attempt. During his five years in Nootka Sound, the First Nation and Gold River community members kept an eye on the whale, who had developed an unhealthy interest in boats. But on the morning of March 10th, the fairy tale ended as Luna was killed after being sucked into a tugboat's propeller. Locals couldn't believe the news. Yeah, I miss Luna, absolutely. He, uh, he was a part of this ship, he was a part of, of this area, of the community. Um, and everybody misses him. It would be really nice to have him back here. We were looking for him for two weeks. We just you come around the corner and, and you put the binoculars out looking for Luna. Because, I mean, it did shock me. I wasn't expecting it. And especially the way it happened with, with the propeller. He was so used to propellers that it, it was just a real shock. As is tradition at a New Chalmuth Memorial, gifts were given to people who played an important role in Suhit's life and in keeping him free at a special celebration at Moachit Muchalit's annual summer fest held at their ancestral village of Uquat or Friendly Cove on Nootka Island. To be out on the water, we're still looking and uh, um, have, a, have a sense of loss and we're, we're still looking for uh, Suhit to be out there, but um, there, there's... Uh, still perhaps uh, an acceptance for some people that needs to happen and hopefully today will help. As well as hosting this memorial event, Moachit Muchalit planned to honor Sukhit by erecting a cairn or carving somewhere in Nootka Sound over the next couple of years. In Nootka Sound, David Wochar, A Channel News. And while Luna had special significance for the people of Gold River, he also became well known not just on Vancouver Island but across the country and around the world. As A Channel's Bill McFarlane reports now, a movie inspired by the orca's short life is also being filmed in Nootka Sound. You remember Luna the Whale? Now prepare for Luna the Movie. The new movie is being shot in Gold River and stars Graham Greene, Adam Beach, Jason Priestley, and a mechanical Luna. The production brings back memories for the people of the Mochet Mouchlet First Nation. Very spiritual and Everybody right from the elders down to our children believed that the spirit of our great chief lived in Luna. The young orca first appeared in July 2001, three days after the death of Chief Ambrose McQuinna, Eva's uncle. Like it was like losing one of our own, our elders, and just very sad, yeah. While the movie is a fictionalized account, the importance of the original story isn't lost on the cast. Doing something like this is, it's a major thing for the Moshat people, and uh, to actually have it out there and bring back that statement and feeling, I guess it's kind of hard because there's a lot of people on this film that are, are were actually there, some consultants and stuff who actually did witness the whole thing, and they were. He said, "For many, the story of the whale is very close to the heart." I mean, it's something that was really, really, truly believed in, and people stood by that, and they risked their lives to go out and protect this orca. The story's been in development for the past two years, and while Luna's death from a tugboat collision this past spring changed the final outcome of the film, that's not the core of the story. But really what our movie is about is a whale coming to a small community and changing people's lives. The movie is set in Gold River, offering a chance for the town to gain little extra exposure. The movie finishes filming August 30th and will air on CTV sometime next year. In Gold River, Bill McFarlane, A Channel News.
All right, let's check in now with our Bruce Williams, who's here with your Mid-Island forecast after what was...